a lot of people don't know this, but Siri can actually dictate for you. Some people do know this, but they don't know how to turn it on. And it's actually, it's not turned on by default. You actually have to go into your settings and turn it on. So this is a really great way uh, for people. I, I have some seniors I work with um, who are writing their memoirs and they talk faster than they type. And so they want Siri to be able to dictate for them and they just go back and, and make edits to the novel or whatever. Let me show you how we do that. So we're gonna go into system preferences. And from here, we're gonna go into keyboard. Now, if you forget where this is, you can go to that search bar and put in dictation and you know it's showing that it's going to be in one of these two i checked out both of them and it's actually in keyboard okay so you click on keyboard now just a caveat you have to have a computer that has a microphone for this to work some people have mac minis mac minis are completely stripped down they don't have a microphone they don't have a camera it's just the computer if you don't have a microphone this won't work for you until you get one okay just to be clear, you can always talk to Siri and have her or him understand you. The thing you have to turn on is the actual dictation. So if you want Siri to actually dictate for you in a word processing document, in an email document, um, you have to turn this on first for it to work, okay? Otherwise, Siri is just going to think you're talking to, to it and not wanting to dictate, okay? Go over here to this tab called Dictation. And you can see here my external microphone is kind of bobbing up and down. That just shows my microphone's working. If you don't see that, it means either your microphone's broken, you don't have a microphone, something like that. You turn dictation on. And this is just a little warning screen that basically says, hey, just so you know, just FYI, when you're dictating, it does go to Apple for interpretation. So you can't expect complete privacy. That being said, Apple uh, is, I think, very trustworthy when it comes to these things. They don't, they don't sell you know, their information to other people to make money. They make enough money off of iPhones. Okay, so we're going to enable dictation. And then here, under shortcut, this is, this is um, the command that you need to give the computer to turn on dictation. Like when you're in the word processing document, when you're ready for it to actually listen to you. And you can choose one of these four choices here. So I don't love using the function key because on some Mac keyboards, they don't even have the function key. Um, I prefer the command key and probably either is probably the best choice so you don't have to remember left or right. So that, this, this would be my, my choice, press either command key twice. So then what that means is I'm gonna go into a word processing program here. Okay, and now when I'm ready to dictate, I'm gonna go up to the command key and I'm gonna push it twice fairly fast. So it's gonna be tap, tap, and then I'll start dictating. So here we go. Hi, comma, this is Laura, period. I'm dictating into pages right now, period. Line break. Oh, okay, so that didn't quite work. I kind of forgot, uh, you have to memorize some of these um, commands to do punctuation, line breaks, things like that. There's cheat sheets out there you can find. It's not line break, it must be something else, but you have to say all your punctuation. So it does take a little bit of practice to get all of the commands down. That's basically how it works.